Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome to the edition of The New Bear Farm. Alright, what is going on today? If you recall from the previous episode, we had to spread some lime down. As you can see, I've already spread a little bit of lime down here. Um, just finished, or did most of the field already, and we're just doing the last little pass here, so let's go ahead and get this guy fired up. I was going to do more, but I figured I should probably record the last little strip here. Uh, otherwise, it would have been... Uh, I would have like started playing for hours, I'm sure. So, Anyways... So let's get this last little bit here of lime spread down, and then we'll go from there. So this is the the lime um, icon, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So yeah, and the other thing is you can either plow this in or you can cultivate it in. There's no difference in this scenario. So um, I'm just gonna cultivate it in because plowing it in would take way too long. Let's just say that. All right, perfect. That's the last little strip. Let's make sure we get everything there. Perfect. All right, so now we need to cultivate that in. So let's go ahead and grab our tractor associated with this. Now, I'm not sure if I can put down fertilizer at the same time. I am I suspect I can't. It's just a guess. Um, so I'm not going to, but we're going to see how this is going to work. So we'll see. All right, so let's just park this up in here. Let's just drive it straight into the bay. Turn it off. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to rent a cultivator. Uh, we're going to rent the Terra Disc, the six meter one. I've used the Kirovitz with it before, so I know it works. Uh, we're just going to rent it, rent it for an hour. There we go. Yeah, I really think there should be like a minimum rental amount of time. <laughs> Being able to do it this way is just way too easy. All right, let's, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to grab this guy right here. Gotta love how beefy this thing is. Uh, there is dualies you can put on this thing too. And when you put dualies on it, it looks like a beast. But I don't put them on generally just because it doesn't really make, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, not in this game. I believe though, in 2013, uh, back in the day, it actually did make a difference with specifically, I think it was maybe the more realistic mod I want to say it was. I think it made a difference then. Uh, but don't quote me on that because I honestly don't know. I was going to take this way out because we could totally exit this way. Because if you recall, we made an entrance on the other side of the field, so make our lives a little bit easier and go out the easy way. Uh, do we actually have? We probably could sell some stuff now that I'm thinking about it. Whoops. I guess it's just as well we can drive through those. Uh, do we have any? Yeah, I thought we had soybeans. Okay, so we could sell some soybeans uh, while this guy's working away. That is a possibility. Or I could have it set up so it does it. Alright, so. Um, let's see. Let's check the prices of soybeans real quick here. Soybeans. Uh, soybeans at the bakery for 600. Soybeans at the mill for 592. 650 at the freight yard and 600. I, be I believe, let's just check. Did I make one to the freight yard? I want to say I did. Yes. All right, so what we'll do is we'll grab this guy. Now that I've put him in an awkward spot, I have to actually turn it around and do it this way so what we want to do is I think what we're gonna try and do is uh, do we need to actually sell anything right at this time we probably don't actually um, no we should do actually let's just hop over to this guy once again and let's just see how much this other field over here costs because maybe we can pick up both of these fields now uh, this one was forty thousand dollars and maybe that one is going to be uh, nicely priced. I have a thing. It's like fifty thousand. I don't think we'll make enough from our soybeans, but it'd be kind of cool if we did. Uh, fifty thousand. Yeah. So we need to make. No, we won't make that much from our soybeans. Or maybe. Hmm. Because let's think about this. Do we need a bigger tractor right now? Not necessarily. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I have this guy in a group. Let's put him in. Oh, he's in group one. Okay. 
Let's unfold this cultivator because it's on the timer. Also, let's make sure time is not uh, fast forwarded like it was that one time. I still can't believe I did that. I was like, really? Did I really just do that? I didn't realize actually until after the fact, until people people started started commenting and be like, well, um, Ian, did you realize uh, you had that set up? So there we go. So even though this thing requires 220 horsepower, oh yes, this one does not like the GPS mod. I had forgotten about that. Oh, we'll do it this way then. Oh, that's terrible. Stop. Stop. Calculate current field. Was this field seven? Let's see what happens here. Uh, field seven. There we go. And we'll put it into field work mode and we'll say start at the field seven, six meters, starting corner northwest, heading east, and we'll do a headland, let's say two headlands after the fact, generate the course. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't, um, if I do it, it's going to be probably not as good as if course play does it. And I don't know why it doesn't work very well with, um, I don't know why it doesn't work very well with the uh, the GPS mod. I don't remember ever having that problem before. And it might just be this particular, <laughs> this particular one. So let's see. First set it's on its way now I have it set up so it does cost me money when um, course play is running and I think I have it set up so it's the most expensive so we're gonna see how this works out one sec coffee break mm. I'm having fancy coffee from British Columbia today all right perfect so he'll do his thing uh, what we can do then it is um, whoa. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to where is it? We're actually going to sell our cedar, and uh, and the reason why is because we can actually use a bigger one with our bigger tractor now. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. I don't think we have any seed in it. Just a little tiny bit. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we can actually use our bigger cedar, or use a bigger cedar. And what I mean by that is we can rent one. Uh, because if we rent, uh, let's say the rapid a 600 renting it for an hour is only 200 bucks so that's nothing so if we can get a couple thousand from this we'll do it so hopefully hopefully we'll be able to save a little bit of money here so let's take this back to the shop and what we'll do is i think maybe next time what we might do is we'll set it up so I'm not sure. This is the difficult thing. The difficult choice here is, well, what do we do? Do we try and get more equipment or what? So, one thing that uh, a lot of people suggested was combine the two fields. That's what we're working towards now. And the other thing people suggested was try to get some animals. Now, in this one, I have the way it's set up is you have to actually buy the placeables. Uh, do I have the placeable spine masts in here? I think I do. I should. Oh, maybe I don't. I don't have the placeable beef. I should, though. For some reason, I don't. Oh, well. I could have sworn I did. We could try. and These are too expensive, basically. <laughs> I was like, as I look at the prices, I'm like, nope, that's not going to work. Huh. I honestly thought we did. That's strange. I'd have to double check that now. I thought the, I'm pretty sure the mod is actually in the folder, but maybe it's just not recognizing. So we could either I was going to get pigs, but I guess the pigs aren't in here. Now there is a new version of this map, and I haven't. Uh, I was I tried to get it, but I had to fiddle around with a couple things, so I just haven't gotten it yet. So I have just left it uh, for the time being, and I'll get it another day when I have more time to fiddle around with things. All right, so let's sell that. Let's see how much money we get from this. Ooh, 9,000? Yes, please. Hmm, so maybe we will be able to afford the uh, the field. Hmm. Yeah, because we, we might actually be able to afford the field now. 
let's see, how much is this tractor worth to us? 90 horsepower, 18. So it's probably going to get like 9, 9,000. Uh, let's just check our mods real quick. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of... Yeah, we don't have many options that are like... The only options we have are like these ones. But they're slightly more expensive. And do we have any tractors that are like... This is the only one that's kind of like... This one, I suppose, would be the next best option, 120 horsepower. It's not the prettiest tractor, but it is nice to have. Uh, that, I thought I'd... Well, maybe I didn't delete that. Okay. So we do have a few options, but I guess well, this it's probably best if we keep this tractor for now. All right, so let's go back to the farm, and what we'll do is we'll check up on... Uh, We'll check up on the Kirovitz in a second here. And I think what we'll do is we'll sell some of our soybeans. Uh, yes, we can go this way, good. I uh, will sell some of our soybeans, and then hopefully, hopefully we'll have a bit of extra money here. So, we'll see how it works out. Only time will tell, really. But our course play guy is doing his thing, which is excellent. And let's grab our trailer, which is just around here in the corner. And then we'll set this guy on his way. And uh, the trailer is in here, I believe. Yes, there it is. Perfect. All right, so let's just put this here. There we go. It's funny. <clears throat> With the rental mod, you really, it really makes things... Uh, you don't realize how flexible it makes things, like in terms of what, what you can do and how you can progress and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's kind of like, it's good and bad in my eyes. Uh, let's send this guy to sell at the freight yard. And we are selling soybeans, sugar beets, grass, hay, chaff, straw, silage, TMR, wood chips, fertilizer, manure, pellets, lime, oats, Old windrow, rye, and soybeans. Thank you all. So I'll send this guy to send. We'll sell him. Sell him. We will send him to the freight yard. This guy's doing a pretty good job. He's rocking away here. This is the advantage. So I don't know. I'm still confused as to why it uh, doesn't like the... Uh... So pH is slightly neutral here. Oh, wow. They didn't go up that much at all. Honestly, expected it to go up a lot more than that. Wow. 6.6. 6. That's neutral now, and this is slight acidity. I really didn't put it up very much. Holy smokes. It used to put up a lot, used to go up a lot more than that. Oh, that's changed quite a bit then. Does that mean you need to put multiple layers of lime down? Hmm. That would be a bit strange, actually. So we could actually theoretically get a sprayer as well. Uh, let's just verify a couple things here. Uh, how much? That's fifty thousand. I'm thinking about selling this um, because if we look at our modded harvesters, we could uh, get this guy for thirty thousand, or we could rent him, I should say. And the header on this is actually nine meters, so it would be a bit quicker to harvest. Uh, oh, we could get one of these too. Ooh, I forgot about these guys. How much are these to rent? For an hour, a thousand. And the other one would be, I think the other one's cheaper by a long shot. Oops, what am I doing here? This one for an hour is, oh, yeah, the price difference is significant for an hour. So we could actually do that instead um, and just rent the Russian Combine. We already have the Kirovitz here, so we could do that as well. They did a, I can't believe how good a job they did on that. Like, I remember when I first saw that in 20, 2015, I was like, whoa, look at that. That's crazy. Like, in comparison to 2013, like, that's just, like, you know, mind blown, basically. Because uh, I don't think, I don't ever remember being like that in 20, uh, 2013, that's for sure. So, all right, so we got this done. So we need actually, I think we're going to drop down a little bit of uh, fertilizer as well. So 
we do that, that'll bring up our pH levels, our pH levels, our nutrients levels. So we have X3 in the middle here, and then the pH is neutral now, which is good. So we kind of, hmm. Yeah, we should probably set that up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let that guy do his thing. Uh, we're just going to rent a tractor and do it at the same time. And we're gonna rent, uh, where is it? We're gonna rent, not this guy, not this guy, not this guy. Not those, let's rent this guy just for an hour, $67, awesome. Because this will give us a good chance to test out. I don't think I actually have any sprayers and mods, do I? No, just big ones. That would be way, way overkill on this map. And we'll rent this for an hour. Thank you. And we'll have them deliver, please. Yes. And yes. Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up. It's funny, I like the way this tractor looks on the outside. But I'm not a big fan of the way it looks on the inside. Unfortunately, so. But it's, you know, it's a well-used tractor, I guess, so that's how it makes sense. And it seems like this guy can take this. Not a problem. It looks that way. Hmm. So technically we could, uh, could have actually have bought this tractor. Because uh, it's not very expensive. But this is what it looks like on the inside. I wish it were a bit lighter. I don't know why. It's not lighter on the inside, but... Uh, so we want to go ahead and grab this. Wow, I can't see anything. Alright, so we want to refill this. Now we only want a thousand liters. A thousand liters is like, kind of like our minimum. Actually a bit less than that. You know what we should check, actually? Uh, cows are two thousand a piece. Chickens don't produce so. Oh, wow, actually, they're twenty five hundred a piece. I don't remember them being that expensive. Holy smokes, not rentable. You can't rent a cow. Actually, funny story. Funny story. Let me put a front way on this because it seems a bit light in the front end. Uh, funny story, actually. There's a guy uh, based out of uh, Cortha Lakes, Ontario, and uh, I was reading this in the Farmers Forum. And what he's doing is he is. Oops. He is, let me get this attached, there we go. He is renting chickens out to city folk. How funny is that? So basically, for the season, you can rent a chicken from him for $375 plus HST. And you can rent a chicken from him, and uh, you get like some feed, you get some other stuff with it. But um, I thought that was the funniest thing. It's like, okay, so you can rent a chicken from this guy. Uh, so you can, it, I just, when I first saw it, I was like, really? You can seriously rent a chicken? And it was a thing. It's just actually a thing. Apparently in the United States, um, it's something that has hap that has been around for a while, apparently, but only just came to Canada. So I thought that was kind of comical. But uh, apparently you can rent a chicken, which makes no sense to me, but... Apparently people from the city want the ability to, you know, try out what farm life is like. Uh, so that's what it's all about. And I thought it was kind of funny. So no, I guess it makes sense, you know, for those people who have never uh, been to the country or lived in the country and whatnot. So it kind of makes sense. All right. So let's do this real quick. I don't. Okay. It looks like it will be okay. There we go. So this will all. The nice thing about this is, if you spray any kind of, I believe, if you spray fertilizer like this, it'll also increase the uh, the moisture level, which is kind of what we need to do. Which is important, because without uh, proper moisture, we don't actually get the yield we want. Which is why we need to do this. So it's funny. This looks like my uh, father-in-law set up. He has basically a tank like this, and he has like a. It's not a thirty-six fifty. He actually uses. A, I think he uses a. 4,000, I think, John Deere 4,000. So, kind of makes me think of that. Ah, well. They're actually, um, they have a greenhouse, my in-laws, actually, and, uh, they are... Why did I decide to do it this way? I have no idea. Um, they actually have a greenhouse, and, uh, they are actually prepping it right now, which is pretty darn cool. 
Uh, so they're prepping their greenhouse because they do have a farmer's market garden. And uh, they're getting it ready for the season, basically. So it'll be interesting to see how it, how it plays out this year. Because like, uh, a couple of people were talking about maybe it's going to be a shorter growing season. We don't know yet. So. So far, this spring hasn't been too, too wet like it was like last year. Like last year, we had like, you know, rain every single day and people couldn't put their corn in the ground. It was ridiculous. Um, but Kirovitz is slipping. What are you slipping on? The tree? You're slipping on the tree. Great. Why are you slipping on the tree? I have no idea. Oh, you know what it is? You had to turn around. He had to turn around. All right, so let's do this. Let me just show the points here. Oh, why is he? Oh, that's weird. That is really strange. Why did he go all the way around there? So apparently this is considered one field for whatever reason. That is really odd. Huh, did not expect that. Oh, you know what's because it's this little section right here. It's because they're connected. That's what it is. Ah, that would do it. That would do it. That would definitely mess it up. All right, I guess we're gonna do this the old, uh, the old-fashioned way then. Uh, actually, what we'll do is like this. We'll just hire a worker for this last little section here, and then we'll go back to our John Deere for a second and finish this up because this is also rented. There we go. Yeah, so they're getting their their greenhouse there ready, so it'll be pretty uh pretty cool once it's all said and done. We'll see how that plays out. Yes, I know I don't own the field. There we go. Make that turn. Perfect. Anyways, folks, I think what I'll do is I'll stop the episode there for now, and I'll finish up this field. Just finish up this uh, off camera. And we'll come back next episode and I think we'll do a little bit of planning. So until then, folks, my name is Ian Robson. This has been our episode of Farming Simulator 2015 coming at you from the new bear farm. I'll catch you guys later.